All right, it's Thursday, May 14th. And here are our questions and vocabulary for part three of George Gerald. Hmm, think now. It's your turn to think. Question number one. Why was George Gerbil surprised when he looked at the jars of jelly on the porch? You're right. George Gerbil was surprised when he looked at the jars of jelly on the porch because one was missing. They had How many had they put out? Four. And how many did he see when he looked? Three. How many jars of jelly were left the next day? day when a badger came to get jelly. There were only three jars were left when a badger came the next day to get jelly. That's right. There were only four left. All right. Question number three. How many jars of jelly did the giraffe get to take home? You're right. That's right. The giraffe got to take home only three jars of jelly. The Joyful gerbil jelly, one of them keeps missing, keeps going away somehow, doesn't it? Number four, why did Mama Gerbil ring her bell to call a meeting? That's right. Mama Gerbil rang her bell to call a meeting so that they could think about what was happening to their jars of joyful gerbil jelly. Question number five. What were some of the funny guesses the Gerbil family made about what might have happened to their lost jelly jars? What were some of those funny guesses? You're right. A juggler maybe took one to juggle with, right? Maybe a jungle bird swooped in and took one. And maybe they're using, maybe Major is using the jelly to cement his bricks together for the bridge, right? Silly guesses, right? They were having fun guessing to try and keep from being sad about why are our jelly jars missing, okay? Who looked outside for clues? That's right. George Gerbil and Ginger Gerbil went outside to look for clues. Question number seven. Who looked inside for the clues? Oh, you're right. Mama Gerbil looked inside for the clues, didn't she? Okay. Question number eight. Were George Gerbil and Ginger Gerbil able to find any clues outside? That's right. No, George Gerbil and Ginger Gerbil could not find any clues outside, no matter where they looked. Question number nine. Why did George Gerbil begin to wonder if they were lost? That's right. George Gerbil began to wonder if they were lost because all around him, all he could see was tall green grass. He couldn't see his way back home, could he? Mm. And our last question, number 10. What do you think you should do if you think you might be lost. What do you think you should do if you might be lost? What would you do? What do you think you should do? Why don't you talk about that with your parents, with your sisters or brother? Talk about that. What should you do if you're lost? And we're going to find out tomorrow what George Gerbil and Ginger Gerbil did. But right now, let's learn some more words. Let's make our vocabulary bigger. Okay, remember number one, what is a hawk? That's right, a hawk is a big bird that eats little animals. Okay, number two, what is a jeep? That's right, a jeep is a kind of car. Remember, Jimmy Jaguar had a jeep, didn't he? All right, number three, what does imagine mean? If you imagine something, you are... Thinking, right. Imagine means to think, to think, okay? Number four, what is a badger? A badger. A badger is a small furry animal that lives outside in the ground, okay? 
Number five, what does budge mean? We budge, they tried to budge the cage, they tried to budge the table. That means to move, budge means to move. And our last vocabulary word, number six, what is a mystery? If something is a mystery, that means what? If something is a mystery, it means you don't understand it yet. You gotta investigate, you gotta go hunt for clues, find out. A mystery is something you do not understand yet. You did a great job of listening, kiss your brain, because you are so smart. You are blessed by God with good brains. You have a good mind. You have the mind of Christ. So you can remember and you can listen. You can remember and you can understand and say these things. You did a great job because you are fantastic. Bye.